Hi, Hi there YouTubers. YouTubers, my name is DK and thank, thank you so much for watching this video tutorial. I hope you're going to enjoy it and I hope you're also going to learn something in this tutorial, something that you didn't know. All right, uh, so uh, uh, this video is going to be about chords. I'm going to show you how you can easily create chords in FL Studio. So it doesn't matter which uh, FL Studio version that you're using. Uh, this tutorial applies to all versions, uh, any earlier versions or later versions of uh, FL Studio. All right. So what are chords? So chords are simply uh, three notes, three or more notes that are played together at the same time to create some kind of accompaniment or uh, harmony or some form of harmony. So most music consists of chords, which can be major or minor, or it can be seventh chords, sixth, uh, basically the many different types of chords, but I'm just going to show you the easiest major chords that you can learn and also the easiest minor chords that you can learn as a beginner of um, music, right? Um, so these are the major chords that I'm going to, uh, to show you, to teach you. So we have C major chord. So in the brackets, we have the notes that the chord consists of. So a C major chord consists of C, E, and G played together at the same time. So what, what do I mean when I say play together at the same time? So, okay, you just go to your um, instrument or your plug-in, and then right-click on it, and then go to piano row, and then, um, like we say, C major consists of C, E, and G. So C, E, and G. G play together at the same time, just like this. C, E, and G play together at the same time. All right. Uh, if your keyboard doesn't show you the letter names of the key, of the of the key of the keys on the keyboard, then you must go here. Go to the arrow, um, then view then key labels and choose all notes. So make sure that all notes is activated here so you'll be able to see the, the letter names of the keyboard. So I chose these chords because they're the easiest chords to learn. They don't contain any flats or any sharps, um, which can be, which could be uh, complicated um, for the beginner in music or in FL Studio, right? So um, I will show you now a faster way to uh, stamp these chords to create some kind of uh, chord progression or accompaniment or song, right? So um, um, you can either start with majors or minors. You understand? So music does not have any any kind of formula. Sometimes it starts with minors. After a minor chord, then comes a major chord. After a major chord, back to a major chord again. Another major chord. After a major chord, it can be a minor chord. So, for example. Uh, I'm going to start this chord progression with A minor. So when you use these, when you create chord progressions from these chords, just make sure that it makes musical sense. It's something that someone can sing along to or can create a song out of, or maybe an instrumentalist can, can accompany it and it makes sense to them. So I'm going to choose A minor. So A minor consists of what? A, C, and E play together at the same time. So this is how you easily do it. So you go to the top, and you see this icon here which says stamp. So click on stamp and then minor. So we said we want to start with A minor. And then now click. And then uh, FL Studio is going to automatically add two more notes to create that A minor chord. And let me now play. Right now I can make the notes shorter. Right, now, now I want to add another chord, uh, which can be uh, an F major, which, co which, which consists of F, A, and C, played together at the same time. So this is F, and supposed to have A and C, right? So I'm going to go to major, and then go to the F, and then the F major chord has been added, added automatically. Right. Um, let me make it longer, and then going back to our chords. Now I want the C major. Right. C major consists of C, E, and G played together at the same time. All right. Um, 
major and then C. Okay, let me now play. Right, that's my C major. Let me make it shorter so I can add the last chord to this chord progression. Right, uh, the last chord that I'm going to add is a G um, major. So you should take a screenshot of these chords. So these chords can accompany millions of songs in the world. You understand many, many popular songs that you've heard uh, can accompany, they can be accompanied by these major chords. Or you can also create new songs from these chords. Right. right, and then, but you, you, you shouldn't, shouldn't just go in line and say C major, then F major. Try maybe with start with E minor and then G major, after G major, C major, and then just listen to hear if it makes any musical sense. All right, and now I say the last chord that I want to add is a G major. All right, so I go to stamp and then major and then G. And then make it longer. Awesome, awesome. awesome. All right. All right. Uh, so, so now, now you see the importance of chords in, in music, the accompaniment. So uh, chords can be created to accompany a main melody made by a vocalist or maybe by any other instrument. All right. Um, now, now I want, want you to, to show you how you can create a bass line from these chords. So from your chords, the first note of every chord is its root note. It's called its root note or its tonic or its, or its main note. So C major, the root is C. F major, the root is F. Then G major, the root is G. Uh, it also applies to minus. Right. So, so now to create, create bass lines, lines using these root notes. notes. So, so I started with A minor, minor and this, this is this is the first note or the lowest note in that um, in that chord. So, so you now go to an octave lower and get an A. That's, that's going to be its bass. And then here it's F major chord. So the first note is F from the bottom. So I'm just going to go down again and put an F. Um, I want to make it longer so it corresponds with the note above, with the chord above. And then the third chord is C major. The first note is C, so the that's the root note. All right, so where is it starting? Here. All right, that's where it's starting. And then the last chord is G major. Um, uh, the root note is G, that's the lowest note. And then I'm also going to get G as my bass. All right. Okay, let's now hear how that sounds. Awesome. All right. Um, so I just use used four chords from here, A minor, uh, F major, C, and, and G. I could even add an E minor just to hear how it sounds at the end. All right. Um, piano roll, and then I want an E minor. So I go to stamp and select minor. After minor, uh, let me go to the note that I want E minor. Okay, let's see.
All right, All right. I, can I can even, even add, add uh, maybe, maybe maybe the last chord, which can be D minor. D minor. Let me let me try let me try, try D, D minor, minor at the end. Right. right so, so minor then D. Let me try, try and and an F, F major. major. All right, stamp major, major F. Yeah, yeah it, it, it sounds sound nice. nice. All right, All right, so, so that's, that's basically, basically how you create, create uh, chords in FL Studio. The quickest way of creating major, the basic major and the minor chords using just white keys without any flats and, uh, or sharps. All right, um, I will show you again how you can quickly multiply these um, chord progressions just to create a thicker sound. All right, um, here I'm just going to drag uh, a string sections. Um, all right. right. Now, now we, we have, have a string, string section and uh, as another instrument there. Right. right. I'm, I'm going, going to copy what's, what's in grand piano and put it on string section just to double it up with a different kind of sound. Right. right. So, so to copy, I just click here, go to edit, copy, and then click where I want to copy it and then say edit, paste. All right. Now, now what, what was on grand piano or the previous channel is now on this channel. So let's, let's now play to hear how it sounds. Right. So, so thank, thank you so much for uh, watching, watching this tutorial. tutorial. I hope you learned something new and uh, I, I just hope you enjoyed this video. Right. right. So, so if you liked it, then like it by putting a like. Right. right. And also, also please subscribe to my uh, channel if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video. Uh, thank you and God bless. My name is DK.